In this airsoft video, we fly to a remote island in the English Channel called Guernsey, where we play airsoft in a World War II German underground bunker called Myra's Battery. Using this extremely realistic airsoft gun, the Navy SEAL DevGru 416. Each magazine only holds 30 rounds and the gun is gas powered. The mission is to clear out the underground bunker, seek and destroy the enemy base on the other side. Crazy to think Germans were running around this bunker, manning a giant 30.5 centimeter gun, ripped off a Russian dreadnought called the Imperator Alexander III, and placed in here pointing at the Atlantic. Yo, yo, yo! Three down, they're coming this way, I'm from our left hand side. You can have contact from the right as well. This tunnel system leads to the enemy base on the other side. I'm feeling extra cautious as it's dark and there's dangerous angles everywhere. One down. I might hide in that corner and let them come through. Yeah, I'm gonna pop you as well, We are taking a secret passage through the bunker to an enemy stronghold called Crow's Nest. Crow's Nest is my team's main objective and it's heavily defended. Push out, we should push out, he knows we're here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this airsoft gun is such a beast. Any questions I'll happily answer in the comments. The Instagram link to the gun builder will be in the bio. This airsoft gun functions just like a real pew. So let's break down what's going on. I pull out the mag to double check the chamber. I see there's one in the chamber. So I load the mag again to double check. Still no response. So I 100% know it's the mag. I clear the stoppage and make ready. Tango down. Of course, as always, rocking the trusty blocks, you can get 10% off with my discount code NN10. It'll be pinned in top pin comments. One down. Yeah, one down. There might be another one next to him. Yeah, another one down. Quick, quick. Yeah, there he is. Moving, moving left to right now, deep. See that? Brown gun, then. Double back. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Crow's nest captured. We hunt down the survivors, making a run for it. Tango down. They're definitely coming that way. Yeah. On you. On you. <laughs> dead. He's dead! Just for confirmation. I can't I can't medic you back in, can I?
You hit? Gun hit. Okay. Hey, Ethan. I can't stick with this. Yeah, I hear him, but he said it's not. Alrighty then. Hey, hey, that dude down there, bro. It's getting annoying. So here's a little trick that allows you to do it without needing some fancy 3D printed adapter. Yeah. So, thumb on the front, just in front of the feed lip, finger behind it, you're basically making a little bit of a pinch. Stops obviously the BBs going either side. Nice and simple, speed loader straight in through the top. And straight in they go. Easy as that. John was an exactly the boogie man. Was the one you said to kill the fucking boogie man. made it this far into the video, I salute you. Any nerds in the comments, you're going to love this behind the scenes tour. Welcome to the Nazi Germany World War II bunker. The like gold, mate. <laughs> so that would have been where the big gun goes then. Yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. big gun. Oh, okay, it's just like double layered, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Arthur, let, me, let me crawl in here. Yeah. <laughs> what, would you, what would you do if this was just collapsed? Uh, no, I well, wouldn't do much. Yeah. <laughs> so this was, this was built by Nazis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is all Nazi built. And this would have been on that mount there. Yeah. A humongous f***ing cannon. Like... Oh, yeah. So it would have gone through here and looked out that way. Yeah. I just want to point something out. This is World War Two Nazi cannon concealment. And it f***ing works. I don't know what they made this out of. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. But this is a whole... As Jordan's trying to access now. This is a whole underground network that obviously then leads to this massive cannon. How far down was it? Please don't jump down. Ah, it's not too oh, no, bad. Here we go. Which is not a bad thing. You can you can just stroll up to it like. Yeah. <laughs> Team of blokes just like loading, firing, there would have been all dudes around here. Yeah, look, you can see it would have been come on like a railroad or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously the back swings around on this like track yeah. mechanism. At least you can see it at the back here because it's still intact. Wow, how much money's worth do you think is sitting here? Wait, it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of priceless, eh? Yeah, for, yeah, okay, well, let, let's just say, like, it's, it's World War II again, f***, I need a cannon, like, what you... It's gotta be a couple of mil, surely, yeah. surely. Yeah, yeah. On target! Fire, fire, fire! <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been elevation for sure, wouldn't it? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> Full size clip, bomb it up there, gas in the bomb. That's the entrance to the airsoft site through there. So, what's the rundown? What are we looking at? So, this obviously used to be the main turret area for the Myris, well, the, the gun that was sat on here, because obviously the view goes straight out across the west coast towards America. The idea being that obviously they can take out boats and like warships out to sea. So, hidden away, it's safe zone. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the depths of hell. Admittedly, I'm sure Jordan's going to show you, but there is something that does suggest something was an Nazi attack. Yeah, there is a second lane. Um, left. Wow, oh, what an awesome looking place. Whoa. Whoa, bro. <laughs> That's insane. mad. Yeah, there is a, there's a few uh, pieces that may, may specify who out of the German army was here. Wow, that's crazy, bro. Guess what's in the box? 
with the blade left. No! <laughs> yeah!